Welcome back to the Balcony Oxcord podcast. Uh, you're back again with me and Affindi uh, on Hello. this piece of shit podcast. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're a music community. Uh, we're, at least we're trying to build a music community online where we get to use music as a platform to uh, discuss about like larger things, larger things to society, larger things than... You know, like mentally. Our personal lives. Our personal lives and all that. Mm-hmm. Fendi, move back a little. You're going to be too loud on this podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. My bad. I, I, really, I really have no idea how to use the fucking microphone, by the way. You're like Sometimes I'm like, it. sometimes I'm like this and sometimes I'm like this. I mean, when you're close, you like shout into it sometimes. So it's, I feel bad yeah. for the uh, listeners. How about, let me just maintain this distance. Then. Yes. Is this that's good enough? Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Well, um, okay. Today um, is an interesting day. Um, last, oh wow, how do I phrase this? So we recorded, yeah. to be candid about this, we recorded one episode before this already that was going to go up for the 14th or 15th episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, but with everything that's going on around us, we wanted to acknowledge mm-hmm. something and we wanted to post this one before the one we recorded mm-hmm. last week. Yeah. And that's the most candid way and the most like clear way of addressing all this thing. All these mm-hmm. things, uh, and uh, what we what we talked about last week was that we wanted to introduce like a new framework or like a new approach to like this podcast. Like we can talk about anything from now on. Like not has mm-hmm. doesn't have to be really like music driven all the time. Like mm-hmm. it has to be like mm-hmm. a mix at all times. You know, like it, it, mm-hmm. so it's like fresh at all times. It doesn't get boring mm-hmm. for us mm-hmm. too. So that's more important. But mm-hmm. the reason why we wanted to post this episode earlier is that. There's a lot of shit going on in Thailand right now. And a bunch of shit. A, a bunch, bunch of shit. shit. And um, there's a lot of protesting. There's a lot of demonstrations. And um, so there's a youth protest uh, against the government. Uh, and uh, they're fighting for democracy, man. Like, I think that that's the best way of phrasing it. Like, fighting mm-hmm. for free speech, democracy, um, mm-hmm. and fighting for, like, a renewed constitution. Uh, mm-hmm. recently, uh, there were, there was, I don't know, cases, not cases, but there was a day that the police came out and like cracked down the protesters mm-hmm. and they, they did it, um, disgustingly, brutally. in my opinion. Yeah. They, um, did they it shouldn't quite have brutally. done what they, what they should have done. Um, mm-hmm. there was no signs of any violence whatsoever from the, from the protesters. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a more proactive approach from the, from the police side of things mm-hmm. it wasn't reactive because it was nothing to react to really mm-hmm. um and they came out with water guns not water guns that's that makes it more or less less no 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 not so it's not um, it's not so grand yeah. wa- wa- they, what, do you, what do you call it water water cannons water, water cannons. cannons yeah there weren't even yeah, holes very high like water very cannons. high pressure water things yeah that can seriously injure someone yeah. or even yeah but like it was mixed with like uh paint to like tag tag protesters and yeah. as well as like i heard tear gas that it will like irritate their eyes um, uh it's ironically blue <laughs> or not ironically <laughs> yeah but um yeah it is, we just wanted to acknowledge it on this podcast just because we wanted to for the listeners if you're not from thailand we wanted you to hear out and see you know like read up read up on what's happening um mm-hmm. unfortunately we won't be talking in depth into like what's yeah. happening around which is a shame yeah. we really wanted to but me and Affini talked about it before this episode and we don't think yeah. the internet is the right place at least for us right now and yeah. I think that goes to show the severity the, and the seriousness the severity of the problem of the like issue. we have we have fucking 20 views and we're too yeah. fucking scared to talk about it yeah which is exactly what this what, protest what, is about what this protest is about and um yeah like obviously like like, I'm not gonna lie. I want to work in like government or something one day. I don't want this mm-hmm. to be one of those, mm-hmm. you know, examples that they they can use against mm-hmm. me. And for that, I mm-hmm. apologize to everyone who's listening who doesn't like to hear this from me. But uh, if you really want to talk to me about it, I like DM. I would love to talk to you about this. Yeah, I want um, I want to be transparent. I want to be uh, completely yeah, I re- honest. I really want to be transparent. And like, I don't but, think the internet's yeah. the best best place for that. Yeah. But um, it's it's permanent, dude. It is permanent. That's, so it's permanent. It is what it is. Like I I I. I but I, I can I can say online that I'm not for police brutality at all. I'm highly mm-hmm. against it, and whatever what what they've done is not cool. Mm-hmm. That's again, I, I'm totally against that. Um, mm-hmm. We we can talk about it later. But uh, do you have anything else to say before we move on to the more yay, yeah yeah um, about this? 
Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I, I agree with you. I think, mm-hmm. uh, and even even as um, even as a Thai person living abroad right now, like yeah. you're back in Thailand, but I'm abroad and I'm uh-huh. like 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 I'm observing everything from like the outside. Yeah, and I do kind of get like sort of. I, I I'm I'm heartbroken, man. Like it, mm-hmm. it's so sad to see True. um these things, and I'm incredibly uh I I feel I I have so much respect for the people who do yeah. who are out there voicing their opinions because that's Definitely. something that I you know and I, I can't do mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I'm too scared to do yeah and I'm very grateful for the people that are you know voicing. Yeah. the concerns or voicing the 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 opinions of our generation right well i yeah that's generalizing too much but but the yeah. general sort of like yeah so kudos to those guys yeah 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 props to everyone who is using their voice i don't i like at this point like i know it's kind of weird to say but like props to everyone who is using their voice whatever way they 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 mm-hmm. choose like if you're a pro mm-hmm. pro royalist pro whatever you want to call yourself yeah. Uh, whatever, like I, I support that and support that you can use your voice in whatever mm-hmm. you feel fits you. Um, mm-hmm. So, uh, but but yes, especially to the to the kids who are outside who are risking mm-hmm. their own safety for this cause. Mm-hmm. Um, props to you guys. Props to you guys. Also, you know, try to stay safe. Try to stay safe. Um, there are a lot of resources online. I saw a lot of people posting like emergency numbers or like yeah. things to bring to a protest in case, you know, tear gases come out, in case rubber bullets come out, in case shit just goes south. Mm-hmm. You know, always have like a plan, uh, uh, like know how you're going to get out, know what to do, have right. an emergency contact. Write your, have your ID on you, write contact, inf- emergency yeah. contact and shit. Like, you, you know, there's resources out there that you can, you know, go and yeah definitely on both sides yeah. too like whatever on you both wanna, sides yeah, yeah. like on, we, on both sides yeah so anyhow okay Fendi, <laughs> no we, we just want to acknowledge that and like now yeah. n- now i mean if you're unhappy about it i'm sorry you can mm-hmm. stop listening but we're gonna talk about the more fun things in life now yeah. like we're, we're we, gonna like, like can you all score this it? shit has been in my mind for the past few days and it has like yeah bro Push me into like a kind of depression of, of sorts, and I got heartbroken, like literally heartbroken. Um, mm-hmm. But um, I want to talk about something more fun, man. I, I, I want to mm-hmm. use this play- mm-hmm. space as a escapism of some sort. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what's up, Fendi? How how are you been, man? How, I've how, been how I've been. It's a weird. It's a weird time, definitely with with the pandemic, and and you know, like life is different out here in mm-hmm. North America mm-hmm. from Thailand because. Mm-hmm. Um, Right. The pandemic is still it's very still much around. a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yo, you motherfuckers are like going to clubs and shit. Yeah. Like, I've been just seeing eating, stories like, like at restaurants just, normally like, chill. Yeah, you're just eating at restaurants. I have to fucking wait in line to eat at a restaurant because, like, they don't have enough seats because of social distancing. Right, right. I have to wait in line to go to the grocery store. Yeah. I can't, you know, like, when there's like a gathering with like more than a certain number of people, I'm like, Yo, fuck that. Like, I'm trying <laughs> to keep my <laughs> circle small. I'm only seeing people I know. Sure. But in Thailand, life is... You guys haven't... We haven't had a case in how long in Thailand? A hundred something days, I think. Yeah, that's fucking amazing. It's amazing, yeah. Uh, we're, we're letting... We're gonna let uh, Chinese tourists in, I think, in uh, in a couple of weeks. So. I mean, I mean, the, like, the... uh, in, 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 in small groups, of course, just to test out the quarantine yeah. measures. But um, I, I'm, I have faith in what... I mean, it, it has to be done because people don't have money right now. And like yeah, Thailand is such a, like in, in the South in particular with islands and stuff, like those people live off of yeah. tourists yeah. only. Now they don't have tourists. Like First time. they have no money. So they like have no money here. Yeah. I, I, I think our hospital system is uh, good enough to handle whatever mm-hmm. shit that might come, might come, mm-hmm. hopefully not fingers crossed. Uh, well. And, um, you know, like it, it just has to be done. Um the tourists like just gotta let them in at some point at least mm-hmm. try at least um anyhow uh like i i, I can't say been? that my life has been good i've been pretty tired like this week has um, been crazy apart from the political instability and yeah just um, yeah I, I have a lot of work you know school school mm-hmm. is ramping up quick i'm doing research mm-hmm. right now i'm also mm-hmm. taing right now mm-hmm. and oh since this is going up next week Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, I'm also doing a anniversary present for my, my girlfriend. So we, my oh. our anniversary is next week. Yeah. yeah. Anniversary or? Anniversary. 
anniversary. Like first, like one no, year? second, second, two year anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, one year? Yeah, y'all have been together for a while. Yeah, so it's uh, it's 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 nice. I I get to do something for her. Like I don't, I don't. I can't say I'm a romantic guy, so I feel bad for her sometimes. <laughs> you have to be, bro. You're doing long distance. So. Yeah, I know. That, that, that's why I'm, I'm trying you to have be romantic. Because, like, yeah. I'm like, okay, like, I want her to feel loved, you know? I want her to feel yeah, loved. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm curious, but how is long distance? It's tough. Yeah, if you feel comfortable talking it's, about yeah, that. Yeah, of course. One. Of course. It, it's tough. Like, straight up. I, I yeah, think yeah, yeah. I think. I mean, we should get We should get May on the podcast at some point. May's my girlfriend. Yo, uh, that'd be Just lit. to, like, talk about, like, long distance. Make you feel like they're reeling a bit. It'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Just like just like old times when you do that. I to don't me. mind. I don't um, mind. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it, I mean to answer your question, it's tough. But I think if you have the right person in your life, it works. And like, be a little bit more romantic. Yeah, like I, I think I think I'm kind of, I wouldn't say perfect, but I'm a good candidate for the long distance relationship kind of person. Okay, because like I'm okay. a very individualistic person. Like yeah, in, in the sense yeah. that like. I'm independent and like mm-hmm. if I'm working, I'm working, you know, like if, mm-hmm. if, well, it, if you're chilling, fun. you're chilling. Yeah. With like, your friends. Like, yeah. I, yeah. So like whenever I'm, I have passion to do something, I just go do it. And I'm, I'm always busy. My mind's always working in that kind of way. So yes. like it, it works out fine. And like, mm. I talk to her when I can. She talks to me when, when she can, she has mm-hmm. school too. So she's stressed as fuck right now too. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it works out. Um, gets a little tough. Um, I would say like bi-weekly, like when like you like you miss each other very much. Bi-weekly. Oh, I mean, like, like man. I say like one twice twice a month. It gets tough. Sometimes. Okay, but that's bi-weekly. Yeah, I mean, that's like you know, bad. like just any relationship has waves, right? I'm I'm just saying like a time span for yeah, yeah, waves, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Honestly, if you were in the same fucking country, it'd be you. You'd probably get it. Probably get tough bi-weekly as well. Yeah, even yeah, if, yeah, You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's just what honest. it is. And like and like the time zone's also real different. It's just mm. a little tough. And she likes to sleep a lot, so she <laughs> wakes up real late. We don't get a call no. too much. <laughs> I'm calling uh, you out right now, May. You know uh, you don't listen to these things. Uh, Fuck you. Kidding. <laughs> so what are you what are your plans for the uh anniversary? Are you allowed to say or is, is this well, gonna go okay, up before? This, this is coming out on Wednesday. Our anniversary is on Thursday. I'm pretty sure she won't listen to it on that day. <laughs> so <laughs> even the balcony Oxford misses yeah, does man. not watch the balcony Oxford. <laughs> There's only two people really. <laughs> it's me and you when we edit <laughs> Yeah, when we edit it, we when just you, like when you edit it, you watch it. When I when I do the time keys, I watch it. <laughs> those 20 it. views it's me watching yeah. it over and over. me refreshing the page uh-huh. mm. yeah so i i i i'm making her a music video man what what song um i'm singing lak lak pop kong tattoo color no okay 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 i'm not singing it because the lyrics but because she loves the song a lot like that that's like to her like our song but my my song with her is a different song Oh okay. Yeah, yeah, but but like, well, I just wanted wow. her to you know feel loved, and I'm doing oh, wow. her something. But it's gonna be funny. You... So like the the music video right now, right, is um, I, we uh, so my dad also wants a green screen for like his own shit. Oh my! But we God. got a green fucking screen. Bought a green screen. Yeah, bro. And then right now That's downstairs so right now is like geez, I have bro. it up right now, green screen. And um, yeah. have you seen um New Light by John Mayer, the music video? Oh, it's gonna be that. That's so funny. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. That's do like a fucking new, like, hilarious. Kind of video. Really? Yeah. Cause like, I, I want to see the it. song is so like s- sappy. Is that the word? But like, it's a like, corny, right? It's like a. Uh, yeah, 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 it yeah, means yeah, like yeah, love yeah, at yeah. first sight for everyone who. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I don't like corny things, but like you know, girls like even though they they don't say that they like it, they do like it. So like, this I fucking like corny things, man. It's not a gender thing, man. Like, Fuck. True, 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 is true, this, true. Is but, this a fucking soft boy but, shit? But at least May, right? Whenever May is like, oh, that's so corny. She's like, but I like it. But but the thing is, like, I, um, I just want to put my own flair into it. And, and mm. I didn't want it to be like super Send corny. it to me after. I mean. Can we put snippets on it on the balcony <laughs> ox cord after May sees it? Just like, not the whole thing. Just like, all right. It, please. If, okay. Bro, the the listeners got to help out on this one. If this gets like, I want to say like more than like 
because okay, we get like thirty. Be or realistic. 40 be views. realistic. Though. Yeah, I want to be, be realistic. realistic. Okay, <laughs> I want to say like more than more than eighty views. How about that? Okay. Because eighty this gets views is quite high for us as well. You know, it's pretty easy for me to just refresh YouTube. <laughs> Okay, Finley, yeah, that code, jazz episode. System. Yeah, that jazz episode has twenty one views. I'm gonna jack it up to like thirty. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just thirty though. <laughs> I got other shit to do, bro. I can't sit around all day refreshing my own fucking videos to get the views um, up. But uh, eighty, I would say eighty is a good one. I put, I put it, I put a snippet, not the whole thing, not the whole thing. Yeah, it's meant for me. Just yeah, I, I all I'm asking is twenty seconds. Okay, please. I think that's what your ex girlfriend asked from you too. Oh man, that's generous. <laughs> all I'm asking is twenty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All, all I'm asking is don't nut, don't nut too quick. Oh god, relatable? Not relatable. Not relatable. <laughs> Not relatable. Not relatable. Okay. Okay. That's good. So long distance is going. Um, is going all right. Yeah, it's going decently. Um, it's going decently. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. It's tough. It as anyone. Is, yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. COVID. COVID yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm loyal, uh, and. And I'm sure May is too, so it works out. Like I don't, I don't, I'm don't, I don't, I'm not suspicious of her in any way, so it's cool. I think people, people who do act suspicious, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. With, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do long distance yeah, yeah, with those people. Like there's people like that, you know, like who have like a are lot of like guy friends, like, or like yeah. have a lot of like you know they hang out too much with like stuff like that. I'm like, no, yeah, yeah, no, I don't know about that. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. May's just chilling, so yeah. I was just chilling, that. bro. So loyal, man. I said I sent Mark a picture of this girl that I thought was really hot, like an IG model. Yeah. And Mark was like, May so like, wow. which means like May's prettier. Yeah. And no. I was like, Yeah, I, was, right, I said bro. May has a fatter ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to <laughs> PG thirteen it, but No, bro. Okay, let's be honest. Like everyone knows if you're sending like an IG model, right? You're not gonna send like their face. So let's be honest uh, sometimes let's be honest. i do though no that's not true at all okay <laughs> <laughs> it's not true at all oh my god yeah i i want you to go check out the saved on balcony oxcord yeah there's uh I, the, the dms that <laughs> <laughs> the dms that balcony yeah. oxcord sends me sometimes i don't i don't know what yeah like, like thank you balcony oxcord yeah uh anyhow <laughs> What are we gonna yeah. talk about this episode? We talked about are you nah. talked for like twenty minutes already? Like what is this? We're twenty minutes in. And no, we're just rambling. It's fine. Rambling. Um, no, I, I wanna talk about since since you recently saw the Black Pink documentary <laughs> and you had some strong opinions about it. Yeah. I think for the sake of uh a clickbait title, <laughs> you should <laughs> We're gonna get No 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 that's that, that no, no, sake, no 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 wait wait no, no. for the for the you, sake of a, a, a good clickbait title, you should say how much you hated the documentary. <laughs> because everybody fucking loves Blackpink. Lisa is my fucking hero. I love Lisa. Oh, Lisa's pretty. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't hate her. I don't, I don't hate all of them. I don't, I don't hate any of them. <laughs> the fuck were we... No, no. Okay, Findy, you're cheating a little, okay? So I said, let's get 80 views sake- on this one, okay? But if you get a clickbait... Is for the definitely sake of a, gonna go. For the sake of a clickbait video, <laughs> for the sake of a clickbait title, I think you should you should you should tell me how you feel about the fucking documentary, bro. Okay, first of all, okay, sure. I don't give a fuck. Okay, let me. Should I go put on my black pink shirt right now? If I'm gonna if do it. if you take off your shirt on camera, I'm not taking my fucking shirt off camera, bro. What the fuck? Do I'm it. I'm insecure about my body, bro. <laughs> like low key, <laughs> I've not been working out, man. Like it's, it's not fine, a good look. It's fine. What do you mean it's fine? You fuck, Bro, if okay. You, if I if you yeah. take if I take my shirt off, you take your shirt off. No, fuck. I'm not changing See? my shirt. The fuck. Eh? See. No. No. I'm gonna if go. If you put want up, me I'm to a- tell tell the world, if you want the world to flame me, you gotta you you gotta give me so, something. Mark, what you're saying is you don't want Balcony Oxcord to have the forty views. views instead of twenty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're saying you're not gonna you're not gonna talk about this. You're saying you're willing. Even though if 
you know, even though. <laughs> no, but don't you think like some like like softcore nudity will get the views up? So you're saying you won't Not me. you won't do it. Bro, who even the though fu- look bro, look <laughs> look at me. Look at me. Who who the fuck wants to see me naked? Like, come on. That's tough. Okay. Um what if this view gets a hundred <laughs> views, Findy will do the podcast naked ne- next episode. Okay. Fuck you, man. I'm you not doing that? that. Yeah. Oh, you have to too. If I do it, you have to too. Uh it's gonna be it's gonna be just nipple stickers. Shirtless nipple stickers. <laughs> but the whole video. For the views. Please. I don't think that's a good idea. See, there we go. So I'm gonna put on my black pink shirt outside. No, just don't do it. We're wasting too much time. All right, fine. <sighs> what a damn. Okay, go go do it right now. I'll riff. I'll riff. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so now that Findy is away, um, we just wanted to say that you know, shit happens, man. And and I don't I don't want to get flamed on this video, but I want to express how I feel about the documentary as well as the group candidly. I'm going to say it diplomatically, but you know, I have some strong feelings. I don't hate them. Let's be clear here, but I'll I'll, I'll tell you what I think about it. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, Fendi just my earphones. Yep, he got he got he got yep. the shirt on. I got the shirt on. Whoa, Lisa. Represent. Ty represent. Yeah, okay. What do you think about the documentary, though? Um, I think it was underwhelming. Like, okay, okay. okay so, so let me, let me talk about this a little bit. Okay. So, <laughs> um, I, I, I came into the documentary thinking that it's just another K pop group, right? And that it's mm. like mass produced, industry made. Um, basically a capitalist machine creating it, right? And yeah. then I was like, and then and then we had a choice. I, I I was watching Netflix with my sister, and I was like, we were bored. We we're like, we didn't know how about the watch. So I was like, okay, okay, sister. I don't want to say her name unless she doesn't want to. Uh, do you want to watch Batman or the Black Pink documentary? And she's like, I don't know. You pick. And I'm like, hmm. Okay, I think I should challenge my ideas at least like I, I i'm one to like you know be disproven by something like I, i'm that guy and um i watched it thinking that it might change my mind on it and it mm. didn't so um i mean like uh i think it gave me a greater appreciation of their work ethic i think i admire them for their work ethic mm. but other than that like i still feel the same way about mm-hmm. you know the whole like, industry the whole industry and industry sorry and uh, you had a good point. We talked about this before the podcast, and like you said that it's just transparent. Like every it's industry does it, and this one's transparent. Yep. And I I do agree, and that's kind of hurting my argument a little bit. But um, hmm. I, I I I don't like how it's so mass produced. It's like a line yeah. of some kind. It's yeah, like they yeah, recruit. It's like a- they recruit like a hundred kids into the academy. Then every mm-hmm. year they kick out a couple more, a few more, yeah. ten more, mm-hmm. until they're mm-hmm. left with like ten. And they're like, and then they screen tests all of them together. Mm-hmm. And then like yeah. Blackpink was meant to be like four, like ten, ten girls or something. Like, yeah, Blackpink was meant to be. I think the size of like twice. Yeah, so, twice is another band, by the way, not like eight people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, but uh, they. They, it was meant to be big, and then it didn't work out, and then the rest were just, like, tossed aside, essentially. Mm-hmm. And then even in the documentary, like, I think one of the girls was like, I feel bad mm-hmm. that, like, yeah, Jenny, we're the only ones. A lot who, of like, her friends, yeah, a lot yeah. of her friends had to be sent home. Which is, like, fucked. It's, like, these yeah, kids have dreams, fucked. too. Like, they left school. Yeah. They left school yeah. for this, bro. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they, they do this full-time. Like, they train full-time mm-hmm. to be stars one day, and they're, like, mm-hmm. tossed aside. And that's fucked to me. That's, like, the epitome of like like capitalism. dirty capitalism like dirty capitalism yeah. that's it 
Like, okay, yeah. like, I might be wrong. Like, you might disprove me and those those kids turn out to be, like, another subgroup no. or some shit. But I, I no, don't no. think so. No, it's, it's pretty accurate, bro. <laughs> they become, like, they become, like, da- backup dancers or yeah, something or, like or that. Or, like, like, they or they like start their dance studio. On their yeah, or they or work in the industry yeah. or they... Sorry, I, I would know. imagine that that's probably the alternative. But, like, yeah. these kids come in at, like, 16. They get recruited. Yeah. And then yeah. they trained for six years or something. Five, six years. I saw the, the numbers on them. Like, Lisa was mm. in there for, like, five. Jenny was, like, six or something, whatever, right? Mm. And, like, it's like, oh, wow, these guys were in here since they were, like, 15, 16. That means yeah. like, they they learned everything, including the language for, like, Lisa yeah. in particular. Yeah, Le- Lisa was speaking three languages, bro. Like, that that girl is, fuck, this is something else. Yeah, yeah. She, She's I mean, switching between, like, three languages. Yeah. And, like, to, to that extent, like, I, I admire their work ethic. Like, they, as kids, um, learn to, to like, go through hell, essentially. Like, blood, sweat, and tears. Like, I'm sure, like, there's yeah. a lot of blood. <laughs> like, they're all, like, yeah. like there's, like, yeah, yeah. There's, like a Dude, lot of crying, was, too, I'm sure. It's 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 the same as the, the last podcast where we were talking about, like, grit and, like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just that. Like, they have that, man. Like, they, yeah. they want it, it so badly. Like these yeah. girls, like there was a part where Rose, one of the members, was talking about how she mm-hmm. was having a hard time and she called home and her parents were like just fucking come home, man. Right, right. Like come back to Australia and she was like, nah, fuck that. I'm already here. I'm gonna do my best yeah. and I'm gonna get it. And she did get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm sure the other kids who got tossed aside were as good too, but they didn't fit in like chemistry wise. Yeah, yeah. It was which is that fucked. Or they weren't as. You know good. how yeah. fucked that is, Affinity. Yeah. <laughs> Just like you, you don't mesh with I, other people. Yeah, you, don't, yeah. you just don't mesh. Like, yeah, it, it's ah, okay. it's a little shady. I think um, but I think the the one thing though about K-pop, like that, what we were talking about is that like the music industry is like that. Mm-hmm. Like like around the world, there are sure. you know, Jennies and Lisas, Jisoo's, Roses, but it's not as transparent. They're you know they they have like ghost writers, and it's just like that. Like mm-hmm, like mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. just like oh like. They're trying to create an image. Like, right. for example, I think one in one episode, Anthony Fantano was talking about Lana Del Rey. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you're familiar with Lana Del Rey's music. Not too but much. it's like, she's sort of this, like, you know, like, um, the they created, like, an image for her so that okay. they could sell the product, which is the music, right? Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. the image is just like, oh, like, she's this, like, is, like, sort of dark. She's really pretty. She's, like, right. th- like sort of, like, living in the underworld. Right. Kind of, like, you know, like, there's yeah. lots of drugs. Okay, lots okay, of... okay. But, but, like... but it's, it's, it's all fake because she's just, like, a rich girl who just wanted to be, and they just made this whole image for her. But, but isn't, her, like, like, isn't her voice, like, good, though? I, I don't know too much about her music, but isn't she, like, Yeah, her at voice least, is like, good, but but the songs that she sound. did write herself were, like, not shit. Good. Like, not <laughs> I didn't. I don't know about it, but... Yeah. Okay. That, that's but interesting. So that's, that's the thing. I, I just think K-pop is just, like... I mean, I mean to, that extent, I, to that extent, I, I agree with you, and that yeah. I agree that the music industry is fucked it's just shady the, in general the music is pretty fucked uh, it, it's just the extent of how artificial k-pop is mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. to a greater extent japanese idol culture is too like like it's just like bnk akb like all that bullshit is like even more no, 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 no. it's Poison heightened cookie yeah it's heightened capitalism heightened mm-hmm. industry right and like I just don't like it. Like I watched it, and like I was it, like, yeah. "Like this." I, you I, think, I, I told you, you I was you, like, "Teddy you, Park was like you." Oh, I make you the need music. the. Yeah, you're like you. You're very so you treat music as, like as as art, as, mm-hmm. or you treat art as something that's supposed to be authentic and a, a reflection of the artist. Whereas yeah. K-pop is more of a reflection of like a capitalist machine that like crunches out what, hits what they after want hits. you to think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it crunches out. Yeah, and 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 that's um that's a fair, that's a fair argument. And to a certain extent, I agree with you. But I think the 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 attractiveness of Blackpink is just like, what is the attractiveness of Blackpink? Is this you is, tell me, bro? Yeah, it's 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 for like you're the one with a shirt on. In my opinion, very talented. Mm-hmm individuals who work their asses off and they're they're talented in a sense where they 
do what they do. Like they're the best at what they do. Uh huh. Like Lisa had to beat 4,000 people to get to Korea. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. then she had to beat all the other fucking Korean bitches. And then she's a member. And she's like, that's a bit misogynistic. One. How is that? Uh, sorry, that was. I mean, it's not the correct term, but you know, the, she has to be. Oh damn! The black pig fat is a massage. <laughs> <laughs> surprise! 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 No, the guy but, with the black pig shirt objectifies no, like, women. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about the industry one more time. <laughs> the, no, it's just like it's just and. And they, you know, it, it's it's like visually stunning. They look confident. Okay, okay, okay. They project this energy, and 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 to a certain extent, like you look up to their hard work and the, all the sacrifices that they've made to mm-hmm. chase their dream, because this is their dream. Mm-hmm. You know, in, in the sense where, like artists, you know, they pursue their dream. It could be said that it's the same thing for these girls. Like they 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 had a goal in mind and then they fucking made sacrifices and like like they like being an artist, you don't know if you're gonna succeed. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. And and I think that's just the same. Like even if you're a fucking indie artist, a mm-hmm. singer, indie singer, songwriter, you you go, you move to Los Angeles, you like do all mm-hmm. that shit. You don't know if you're gonna succeed. Right. It's the same risk. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, so I think that that's like, there. I don't know. I, I, I thought the documentary was like, it was, it was quite inspirational in a sense. Okay. No, I, in I a get. Way where no, I, I it, get what it's trying you know to do. I mean? Like, like I, I, I yeah, think yeah, yeah. it, it thro- gets the point clear that it's not mm-hmm. just glamorous, like you said. It's like, yeah, it's not. There's it's a not, lot of hard work behind it. And, there's a lot of hard work, and, and that's what I said. Like, I admire their hard work. Like, they're, they're. Mm-hmm. Um, their work ethic is off the charts. They're incredible people who like put themselves through incredible tasks. Mm-hmm. But you use the word talent, and I'm like, is is it? Ta- I mean, like, it it seemed clear for like Lisa, who like she was a dancer beforehand. Like, I I feel like that that is like a talent. Like, like she like she dancer, had before yeah. and it just amplified. Yeah, and like she has like that X factor naturally. Uh, but then. Uh, I mean, and the other one who with like the guitar as well. Rose, her name is. Yeah, that's my she, favorite one, by the way. She, okay, okay, whatever. Um, Love her. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, and uh, sh- she sang, and I feel like that that's also her talent on her part. But the mm-hmm. rest seem like they were like kind of manufactured, in my opinion. Like I- I'm mm-hmm. sure, like they have their own quote unquote mm-hmm. talent, but I think yeah. for the most part, it's a lot of hard work and like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. I I I I still think I I admire them. I just don't like the business itself. Yeah. Um. And yeah. I mean, I I can't I, I can't listen to them and keep a blind eye to like the industry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like you can't. Mm-hmm. It's like you got to be conscious. Like mm-hmm. if you want to use like the correct term, not correct, but more understandable terminology, is woke. Right. Got to be woke. Yeah. Like got to be woke to like what's happening in yeah, this. Yeah, like, man. Yeah. Yeah, like, that, that, I think that's a that's a that's a cha- that's a lot of K-pop fans sort of overlook that or intentionally yeah. kind of they know what's gonna because they're everyone's super transparent about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like literally, they were just like they have rules, they have dorms, mm-hmm. they have rules. They were like, I'm not allowed to do this, this, this. They said that on yeah. the documentary, yeah. and I'm sure it's just kind of known. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like I, I, I don't, I don't know. And, and you, you, you said about you said something about an artist and how it's manufactured right i wanted mm-hmm. to present a different example mm-hmm. as not, because you identify as a visual person oh my God. <laughs> okay. okay we're talking about art okay art art in the yeah. sense of like fine art like um visual art an artist art. yeah let's talk about visual art a bit same thing right mm-hmm. like expression self expression okay mm-hmm. but you get assigned to a company and they tell you that one day you'll be famous. We'll, we'll sell your art if you only draw our art and put your name to it. It's the same thing. What do you think about that? I think it's fine. That's what that's essentially that's what a graphic that's essentially no, what a graphic designer does. No, that's does, not what a graphic designer. No, no, no. Graphic designers take like a mood board. They take what what you what the client wants and what 
uh, the the flair of the company that you're in, in particular, is like mm-hmm. a, a particular kind of like a underlying note of some kind, and then they okay. mix it together and then, then they I would, inject their art form into it. I would I would argue that um, I think it's different. I think um, K-pop. I okay. I changed my mind. I think K-pop stars are not necessarily artists in a sense where they're creating. They're they're not bringing anything personal to the table. But they're executing um, a vision. Mm-hmm. So I think um, K-pop as a or the art that they create, the music, and I think you can still call it art because it's it's still a, expressing something, right? But it's not like it's not as personalized as other forms of art or other artists. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's it's a vision that's executed. It's like it's like if you look at a a, a, a clock. There okay. are lots of. I was like, about to say. I was about to say. Quirks. Would you? Okay, so are they just tools in the whole system? Yeah, they're they're the napata. How do you call it? the the face they're of the, the watch? Face of it. Yeah. They're the face of the watch. They're yeah. they're what's getting presented. They're the front end of it. Yeah, they're the front end of it. Yeah. So essentially, hmm. they're not artists in the traditional sense. They're performers. They're stars. Yeah. Okay. I'll go with I'll go with performers. I don't I don't think they're. I think they're stars, man. I don't think they're artists. I don't. I, I, I don't. Artists. I don't like until they make they execute their yeah, own. Yeah, until they, they, they have their own vision which, and actually which, execute it. Which we yeah. will never know if it's true or not. First which of all. Never, yeah. But usually um K pop artists like after like when they do their group when they and then decline. When they, when they decline or when they go to then they they don't have to like make any compromises and they can like yeah. sort of like just be themselves in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, That's which, what like, happened to a lot of older K pop artists, I guess. That's what yeah, I heard. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like Big Bang and stuff like that. Like my sister mm-hmm. is really into Big Bang, and I'm like, okay, like I don't like the music still, but at least I admire them for being brave about what they want to express. Yeah, and like they're not part of a machine anymore. Like I think. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, that's I that's what that. I think, man. Um, I would I wouldn't like if if that scenario that you just told me, like I wouldn't do that. That sounds terrible. Yeah. Like, like I wouldn't do it. It's horrible. If, like like you're just the face of it. You just sign it. Like you you just you. Yeah, I mean, literally. I can't even use the example of Picasso, like, because he's already talented, right? But this is like, you're in an art academy of the mm-hmm. company, mm-hmm. and then you grow up, and then you just paint whatever the company tells you to paint, mm-hmm. and sell it, and you're the face of it. Mm-hmm. But like, none of that is actually like your. You. Yeah. I mean, like, okay, admittingly, I'm sure um, the girls, the four black pink girls, have. Um, have their own flair, like not to take anything away from their mm-hmm. like how how they sing. I'm pretty sure they have input into how they sing, the melodies mm-hmm. and all that stuff. But I think mm-hmm. at the end of the day, it's like at the end um, of the day, it's Teddy Park, <laughs> Teddy Park being like, "Yo, like that doesn't sound good. Um, yeah. This will sell better." And then executives come in, listen to the song, screen test yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how you want to envision this song visually, mm-hmm. how do you sell it, and then be like, "Okay, take that out, take this, put this in. Um, this one's not." Um, I don't want to say sexualized, but um, this one isn't like uh, not enough oomph, oomph into it, not enough like uh, X factor into it yet. So mm. I would imagine it's like that kind of process, kind of like um, cur- um, ongoing refinement until you reach something that you can sell yeah. hard, yeah. like like big. Uh, and, um, you know, like the, this recent one with like, I just saw photos, I didn't watch it, but the one with like whoever wearing like a nurse outfit. Got some controversial. Um, oh backlash. yeah, like, who who, I, who did it? I have fucking no idea. One yeah, they were a nurse outfit. Yeah, bro, that's a little. I I especially I during these days, like nah, man. Like I don't essential know. workers, you they gotta. It's not I, a Halloween I don't know. outfit. I, I have no opinion <laughs> on it, just because I haven't watched it. I can't talk too much about it. But um, mm. I, I I'm just saying that like I'm pretty sure stuff like that. Or like anything around that was like kind of manufactured by like execs or like an art mm-hmm. team or some sort. Mm-hmm. Which not to say that other people in the music industry don't do that or have like a team behind them, mm-hmm. but it's like it's less so dependent on the team and more yes. so like an expression of like maybe like a, a vision or yeah. something. Yeah. Some sort of vision. I agree with you. I think I, I, I don't listen to Blackpink for the artistry of it. Mm-hmm. I I listen because it's bangers, man. It puts me in a good mood. Okay, like I, I when I fair. go when I go for a run, you know, like 
this shit's playing in my ear or like when yeah, i'm yeah. watching when i'm watching these girls as like they're like entertainers right it's mm-hmm. fun to watch them they have mm-hmm. like interesting personalities they're like yeah is this really is this something i you know i got into this like because i was super sad and that mm-hmm. like i i got into it in a, at a low point i was just like mm-hmm. i needed something that would take my mind off of it and watching mm-hmm. four beautiful girls sing and dance yeah. Yeah, and yeah. just be themselves on camera and shit yeah it was just was just like this is something to do you right. know like it was it was very enjoyable and then uh, okay how much yeah. time do we have right now we have We're like at forty minutes. minutes. Damn. Okay. I, w- I wanted to. I wanted to ask you. I guess the last lasting thoughts. I guess about this. About. Do you think? I don't even want to talk about black paint anymore. The industry. Okay. This kind of industry okay. is dangerous to mm. the greater art or greater no. not. I don't greater. I don't know sphere of music. I guess. I don't. I don't think so. Okay. How so? Why so? I, I don't disagree. think. I don't think that. Um, I think it can overshadow a lot of good music that's being mm. produced, but I don't think it's, it's not like capitalism. I don't look at music. Like it's not like the big industries are going to take over music. You know what I mean? The billboard charts have been the billboard charts, man. I just, you know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes good shit comes, mm-hmm. but most of the time it's dominated by bangers. Mm-hmm. And I think musicians and artists are still going to produce what they produce. And even now, like with, even now, like with the internet and social media and Spotify, artists have more control over their music. Yeah. And artists are have a platform to share their music. And the community, the music community, the, there's more like you know you can. It's easier to access. So I I think like big mm-hmm. name industries or like big like like um factories that produce like bangers are not a threat to art Mm -hmm. i would say it's i think people kind of see it zero sum game i don't see it as zero sum game like i just see it as just like it's just there it's always it's just uh it will always be there another component into the into the into the ethos of music or exactly like it's not like it's not like one music company is gonna eventually it's not like economy you know what i mean like we Mm -hmm. can't look at this as like sort of like 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 we can't we can't put we can't look at this through an economic lens i disagree again really but like how so why, why do you think um big industries are i mean like in, in korea right now like like for sure like there's indie there's indie like yeah pop, lots of good amazing yeah. but like they're they're not getting enough love like these these people aren't getting the, the money or really? like and then like the taste in the country is also like shaped by only like two big industry names like there's yg and there's like uh the other one is um, jyp yeah guys, stuff like yeah. that and i'm like isn't isn't that already a sign to you that like like maybe really? not the whole world like taste but like like right now it's like localized mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. like i i agree i agree with what you're saying and that it shouldn't be viewed as like zero-sum game but i can't help mm-hmm. but think that it is too mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. it's like it's taking mm-hmm. up so much share of the market. If I were to use a more technical term for like it. the music market, like it's yeah, it's, like it's yeah. it's it's eating up so much like listenership. Like it's like like not. Go- I don't want to sound Do elitist, think- but it sounds like it it is like. But like it's <laughs> um, I, it's kind of dumbing down the music taste. Mm. Not gonna, like like it's like easily listening comes first. Mm. Like yeah, I don't know, man. Like where I, I where think... do you where do you like I don't know like masterful instruments like 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 musicians where do, where can they live in the future like in niche mm. pockets like in like in mm, parts yeah. where like it's not mainstream like I I feel so bad for them like don't how... you think that this has just been happening, man? I don't know. Like oh, for I think... sure it has been happening, but this, it's been this happening. Is, like I so... said, this is like a amplification of what it is in, that was yeah really. hmm. Not, like obviously like i'm wrong obviously i might be right no, i might I, be wrong yeah but, i think um, i think i think it's valid but i don't think first of all i, I don't know enough to say but this mm-hmm. is so this is just my opinion i don't think um okay i like i hate to say this but i don't think bad art threatens good art okay but no but but, but okay Okay, now I sound like a dick, but I'm gonna say it. Uh, this in this case, bad art mm-hmm. is put on a pedestal. 
Mm. And this is the mainstream. Yeah, I don't but, know. But you're thinking of bad art in the sense where like, just like, fuck it, just do it, right? Like, But that doesn't mm-hmm. get traction. This does get traction. And it, people are like, oh, this no, is, no, this no, is no. the height. This is like, fuck, dude. This is like the height of K-pop. Like, this is the height of what like the music I, industry has right know, now. Man. I don't think, I think, I think dude, people who listen are, what are they're... Gonna say? Yeah, like like people who it's it's not like they're not aware, you know. They just don't like what we listen to. Like they just don't they like, just, like, they like just indie don't, stuff, which is fair. Like they, it's subjective. No, no, but, no, 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 no. That's that's not what we were talking about, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but that's I'm, I'm saying we like these about, people though. are, if anything, they're they're like okay, like it's easy to access. It's like it's and it's because the industry and it's because the 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 marketing teams that get mm-hmm. it so accessible to these people. They're like. I know BTS and I know Blackpink. Those are the two things, like, like whatever, right? Like, mm-hmm. like I'm gonna try mm-hmm. to listen to it. Oh, I love it! Wow. But mm-hmm. then, like the the smaller ones who are like great musicians, they don't have that marketing team or whatever you want to call mm-hmm. it. That this machine. So like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't so think are, are people susceptible yeah. to like like mar- Like for sure, they they are susceptible to marketing, and it's probably the case. Of course, yes. Uh, but that's true. Mm, but I I don't I don't I mean like I mean like I I don't think like okay if I'm wrong like just say if I'm wrong but I think if we were to apply that to like let's say the 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 fucking meat industry you know what I mean like there's there's like there's a butcher like you know you have a butcher store in your neighborhood that you go buy meat for but then as capitalism progresses it becomes a factory where they mass produce they just have a farm of like a thousand cows and then they send them through yeah. a machine that cuts yeah. it like da, 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 da. but those industries are threatening the livelihood of like like you know people who like butchers who you know know the yes. who make quality meats blah 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 right mm-hmm. I don't for me I don't think that's the case for art. And I don't know really how to explain it, but I I think that okay, like you can talk about it in terms of sales. Mm. But I don't think we can talk about it in terms of the artistry or the 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 product, not the product, but like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the art, you know that, what I mean? You can't measure that. Yeah. You can't measure that. Like good music is always going to be made and bad music is always going to be made um mm-hmm. that's yeah but then i don't know i don't know I, I just don't think i don't think i don't think it's a threat i don't think it's a threat to yeah i, I don't know I, okay i think i think what i'm going to conclude on is that it's not a threat to yeah. artists making good music mm-hmm but I, I, the I do think I, I do think it is a threat to the livelihood of the no musicians. The, the masses taste. Mm. People mm. will be more susceptible to to even more marketing at this point. It's like it's like a trend, mm-hmm. like <laughs> because people are are so willing to to just hop on this thing. And now that we have social media, like there's th- this whole phenomenon, right? There's like you hear yeah. a song on TikTok, dude, and like everyone's like. Let me go fucking listen to this song on fucking Spotify. Yeah, yeah, and they're like, yeah, yeah. it's like fifty million views in a day because of one yeah. fucking TikTok video, right? And like, yeah. it's it's so like, people. I don't know. I think that's the threat. Like, it's not. It's not too good music. I think. I think, mm-hmm. like you said, I agree. There will always be two trajectories of. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say good music or bad music, but um. That, I'll, just I, okay, let me rephrase. It. There's no other um, way to say let, it. Let me rephrase. Um, ma- mainstream. Mainstream manufactured music and yeah. and, and artist artists. driven, art art artist art music. Yeah, sure, whatever. But 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 they they go hand they 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 will continue to rise and continue mm-hmm. to be created. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I think um, the listenership of the mainstream will increase mm. even more. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. and that will shape how people really? choose mm-hmm. to listen and choose to yeah. Um, intake there i don't know i their don't know music sustenance yeah. <laughs> yeah i i agree with you but also don't agree with you in a way i mean it's not a it's yeah. not a easy topic to say yes or exactly yeah i, 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 I disagree with myself too i'm not i'm not yeah. gonna lie i disagree with myself and yeah. um 
I think people who hate what I'm saying probably stopped listening to me like uh like a like a half an hour ago. Bro, but like yeah, man. but Jeez. if you give I mean like if you if you just like stop, you know when when you start trying to understand each other, it makes more sense and you start to be like, okay, that is a valid opinion. And mm-hmm. I do, I do believe mine is a valid opinion too. Um, I just understood. think like I have a very strong way of saying it, so it feels like mm-hmm. I'm like trying to push this agenda on you. I'm just trying to pick your brain a little. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like, like you're you're looking at you're really Marxist about the way you're talking about music. No, I'm just very political about it. Crit- like, critical Marxist theory. Of, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like I mean in, in this in this you should write topic a paper in particular. <laughs> there, write a paper for fun. Well, there there has been papers on it. There's a, like the uh, like like looking at the music industry in a Marxist way, yeah, uh, probably, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm Anyways, so I think we're at the time. You just too. woke up, bro. It's like twelve here. Nah, all right, all right. Uh, anyhow, um, I'm so tired from that. Wow, that's incredible. Um, for this episode, I'm gonna leave a Easter egg for those who are listening. Please comment because I'm bitter and I want to hear from you guys. Yeah. Um, comment. Um. Uh, gray, gray, red, because it's similar to black, pink. <laughs> All right, bro. Gray, red. Gray, gray red. red. All right. And what what will they get? Um, we'll, we'll we'll shout you out on the Instagram. All right. We will mm. thank you and. Other people who don't know what the fuck we're talking about won't know. It'll be our little secret, all right? Oh, my goodness. So we'll shout you out. Okay. Shout you um, out. Okay. Kenny, do you have your music ready? I ready? fucking have my music, bro. Fuck you. Wow. First time for everything. First eh? time. First time for everything. You want to go first, though, or you want me to go first? Nope. You want to go first? Okay. Um, The song is called Care For You by the Marias, <laughs> and I, I sent it to you, and you liked it. I did. Yeah, it's good. I think it's a really good song. It's not bad. And um, another one is... Uh... Fuck, what was the other one? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I oh, forgot oh. my songs. And I and oh, my oh, Spotify oh. on my computer won't work. So I got to look it up on my iPad. iPad. My iPad. iPad. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, so the Maria's... Mm-hmm. And another one is, uh, oh, I fucking said this last week already. <laughs> okay, I have to. Okay, you go. You you go. Uh, I like um, Automatic Driver by La Rue, I think it's called. But the Tyler, the Creator remix, it's very nice. It has Ooh. the Tyler Creator, like, bass uh, keyboard, uh, keys, I guess. Mm. Um, it's nice. I also like Tenderness by Jay Som. I don't know who that is, but that's what pretty good. Was. And Internet Sky Mind, Jason. yeah, and Sky Mind by Radiant Child. I gave, I gave you three this guy this week, guys. Oh shit! Um, okay, I'm gonna give love. you another one, and uh, it's called um, um, the song is called "When We Were Young," and it's by a Japanese artist called Lamp. Nice, I've heard of They're it. They're great. That's good. Yeah, yeah. And um, another song is on the same album. It's the last song. It's called "Ending Night Blue" by the artist called Lamp. Sick, sick, yeah. sick, sick. Very good sick, album. Sick. The whole album's good, bro. The, the album's called Stardust in Blue. Wow. And it was it it just it's like about the fall autumn, mm-hmm, and it's mm-hmm, pretty cool. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. Well, damn. All right. Um, well, like we said, um, if we get 80, 80 views on this on this uh, episode, Mark will wear nothing but. Um, nope, that's not the one. Stickers. That's not Nipple the one. Stickers. Uh, oh, wait. You're going <laughs> to do your release. Yeah. And, 20 seconds. Um, 20 seconds. Yeah, something like that. And um, if we get like a 200 views, let's say let's say Findy takes out his shirt. No. You, if I do it, you do it. All right, whatever. If uh, we get 200 views on this video, on this which video. we won't, we so, won't. I, so I'm, I'm okay. making... So both of us will take off our shirts and have nipple stickers on for 50 minutes online. And that's just gonna be there. Yes, dude, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Just fucking say yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's fine. Sure. Yeah. Because we get twenty. <laughs> twenty right. views. All right. All right. Unless, unless the black pink hive or whatever you want to call it comes. I'm, to I'm literally gonna name this video. Mark fucking hates black pink. No, that's not do that. I don't hate Look, them. So Let, many I, people. I'm so, so many people are gonna watch it though. 
I'm I'm not I don't hate them. I, I literally do not hate them. I hate the industry. I think Mark I feel hates, bad for them, if anything. Mark hates the industry. No one's gonna fucking click that, bro. Come on. You we're never gonna get to two hundred. Mark hates the Blackpink document documentary. How about that? Okay, sure. All right. Okay. Thank you for listening. Thanks for listening, guys. Uh like, subscribe, share, tell a friend, comment, uh talk to us, DM us. We really wanna hear from you guys. Uh, send us some us music. Too. Yeah, send us some music. Uh, yeah. we, we'd like to showcase stuff like that on our Instagram and all that, too. Yes, sir. Um, tell us uh, if you have any feedback of any kind. Um, mm-hmm. Always happy to listen. All right. Thanks, mm-hmm. Vinny, for, mm-hmm. for talking to me. Um, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.